It's time for another Dollar Tree pumpkin makeover. Keep watching. Welcome back. Now I have nothing against these adorable little pumpkins, but it's not in the color I want, but I love the shape of it. So I'm gonna take this thick yarn that I have. You can use rope of any sort, twine of any sort, but I like this, I got it at Goodwill. I'm gonna dismantle this pumpkin, take the stem off, take the little bag that is around it. Essentially, it's a little bag. Let's save that for something else. Then I'm going to make the hole in the top of the pumpkin a little bit deeper so that I can fit the knot of the string down there. You'll see it gives it a good starting point. This is a simple process. It takes a lot of glue and a little bit of time. Watch your fingers because you can burn yourself very easily. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a knot down in there. And I'm just reloading my glue stick to my pitiful looking glue gun. And we're gonna start in a spiral motion, going around. Now you'll notice when I twist this, I also twist the rope, the, uh, the yarn in the direction that it is wound. Because if you don't, it'll come unwound. You can see that there. When I don't twist it, it tries to come out of its shape. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep putting the glue down and twisting and pressing. I'm gonna see a lot of this. Glue, twist, and press. Glue, twist, press, I can't, and sometimes there are some pressing and some clenching because the glue is really hot. So we're going to continue all the way down towards the bottom of the pumpkin in this fashion. So I think I've counted two glue sticks so far. And I did not pre-measure the yarn, so I'm not entirely sure how much you're going to need of that. But if you start off with a big spool like this, then I think it's pretty safe to say you'll get the pumpkin wrapped and have some extra. More glue, third stick. Okay, so when you start getting to the bottom here, you're also going to have to add the glue to that row that's right next to it and then butt it up against there. And see how it wants to start pulling down. So in a second here, I'm gonna slow it back down and let you see exactly what I'm doing to get those to stay together. There's another, another glue stick if you're counting. Okay, so I'm kind of putting the glue on the foam, also on the piece that is next to it. Twisting it like we did before, pressing it down, pressing it down onto the pumpkin and the row that is right before it. If you don't do this, it's going to come unwound. I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. You still here? 
If you are, why don't you consider subscribing? Click the little notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And give me a thumbs up. Okay, so we're coming to the end here. A little extra glue, a little more pressing. Then I'm just gonna trim it off, twist it a little bit tighter, and make sure that I've got good coverage. And press it down in there. And we're just gonna trim off the excess. Yeah, we don't want to cut toward our finger. Cut away, cut away. Okay, so see there how they really weren't connected on the top? I should have been using that same technique before, but you know, you live, you learn. So I just went back in, fixed it, not a big deal. Press those rows together. And then there we have our cute little pumpkin. So now we're just gonna choose whatever types of leaves that will fit your decor, whatever you like. Uh, side a little more with rustic. But I'm going a little neutral for you gals who enjoy your neutral decor. And I thought it looked, it looked nice with the cream color yarn. So you know the routine here. We still have that little bit of an indention in the top. You're gonna just take your hot glue and put it in there. Add your leaves to it, whatever type of little stem or extras you want. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us real soon. Subscribe so you can see more videos every time they upload. And we'll see you soon. Bye.